Matt coughed a breath that was muddled with blood, choking him as it spilled out of the corners of his mouth. Had the scythe gone completely through him? Matt's palm hit the top of the case with a messy thud. His fingers desperately tried to crawl toward the handle, but it was all for naught. The harbinger pulled back on the scythe and Matt came with it, ran completely through from the top of his spine where the oversized blade had entered to the base of his pelvis where it had hooked him a second time. With brute force, the harbinger slung his blade as if to clean it from the filthy human body that was now impaled on the end. Matt splattered against the wall, entrails cascading down from the wound that cut him from throat to crotch. He made a final gurgling sound as he watched the harbinger resume his sentinel position in front of the rocket launcher, hiding it from view.